Don't want to record. Um, yeah, I'm just not really enjoying anything right now. really sure if I should I don't even know if I'll be posting this week for my podcast again and yeah it's pretty bad it's been two weeks but yourself comes first I am finally done with spring semester um, yeah, I just turned in my essay and, um, dropped off my rental book that I didn't even use, by the way. I paid for a book that I, my class never used it. Oh, you make me headaches! Oh! You, almost, you almost committed murder. You wanna be exposed really emotional I, I don't know or if that time of the month is coming um, but it was very emotional but also I think it was just stress as well and I recorded a talk that we had I kind of broke down in front of him um, and I didn't I wasn't trying to talk about what was going on but that's one thing that I've always had a problem with was to express myself verbally and how I'm feeling like I would always be choked up and I can't I think growing up I always had to be strong like my mom would tell me not to cry and I never had someone to really cry out to so I think it was just due to that and yeah I just always keep a front that I'm strong and I know I am but at times it's like you know, I, mean, I don't feel as strong as I should be. There's just a lot of changes going on, a lot of adulting. And I found that I've been doing that for a long time, just checking things off my list. Um, and most of those things are what people expect from me. And um, it's definitely gotten me far. I guess that's why a lot of people are always amazed that I'm doing so many different things at my young age. But it's just that I'm... People are so fascinated about what I do that it makes me want to do more. And then I find myself just doing it because people are expecting me to do it. And I felt a bit better today, but um, I still feel kind of depressed. And, um, I used to deal with depression a long time ago, and it's just like almost this similar feelings, and I've never felt like this before. Um, I don't want to be around people. I don't want to record. Um, yeah, I'm just not really enjoying anything right now. So, 
I just came home. It's my first time. Uh, actually, I slept last night, but really, this is my first time being home in about two weeks. And um, today, I went to the museum, like you guys just saw, and it was absolutely beautiful. And the architecture and just the landscape um, kind of reflected how I feel, which was very open and free and um, curious and you know, just great, <laughs> which is something I've been craving for a long time. Mommy, it is. Hawaii is a state. Mm -hmm. It became a state a long time ago. Oh, that's the added? Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm having a very productive morning. So I woke up at four and uh, I dropped off my mom at work and then I went to the gym since I was already awake. After that, we got some coffee, had a great conversation. We both want to have a getaway, kind of like a breather, not from each other. It's just uh, taking the opportunity for ourselves and the benefit for ourselves in pursuit of my happiness. And uh, yeah, my mom was all for it and we had a great conversation about uh, just I got to know who she was at my age. and. I actually envied her because she did so much at her age and um, at a young age she moved out, she traveled almost all of the Philippines, she worked prestigious jobs, she had boys following her everywhere, <laughs> um, she had a great life and, and I can see why she's very harsh on me because she wants me to preserve uh, that youth and just to have fun. Um, I always had the mindset that my life has to be like hers like I always thought she expected so much from me that she wanted my life to be um, like hers or to learn from her mistakes but actually it relieves so much stress on my part because she has the idea and can understand and knows more about what I'm going through than I do for myself at the moment like she's been there the reason why she is is because she wants me to 
experience a lot, um, which I value and I'm very grateful for. So, uh, yeah. Hey, y'all smell like yeah, boys. He, the guy that buckled us in, he was like, I was like, I'm 170. He was like, I think you're 210. <laughs> wow, he's nice to me. I threw well. <laughs> His teeth are nice. <laughs> well, we are actually so high. Stop, stop moving it. Stop, 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 stop. stop moving it. and we don't know where we're going but that's okay <laughs> Down for your city, with your dodge of 50. Always looking beautiful, set you to live and die in LA, the place to be. Take my hand and come with me to another place. There's a whole world outside your own, yeah. Pack your bags and don't look back, are you ready, girl? All right, that's it for today's episode. Oh, wait, no, I say that in my podcast. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you made it this far. Um, it was just crazy watching myself from the beginning of the month to the end. Um, kind of my physical appearance, uh, just the way I looked at everything. Um, things didn't seem so hard at the end. I uh, definitely smiled more at the end. Yeah, it's, it just goes to show you that circumstances will never overcome you and it's all about the mindset so if you are facing something that seems very overwhelming um, know that there's always something brighter at the end and also most importantly know that god always has your back and he just allows these hard things to come in your life to make you stronger and um, it's also the time that he tests your faith to see what you will do and how you will react to such circumstances um, and this is really the time where I really got close to him again and just had intimate moments with him, cried to him, yeah. And it's really up to you if you want to be a warrior and um, fight all these negative thoughts because usually it's always in our head. But also embrace um, those weaknesses, embrace that you are human and that we all have feelings and emotions. So yeah, if you liked it, please like and subscribe, um, and also comment if you'd like, and then tell me what you think about it. Also, most importantly, follow and subscribe to my podcast, uh, Pause, Sip, and Ponder. You can find it on Apple, Google, Spotify, so many other platforms, um, and yeah. And also follow me on Instagram, pauline.ponder, so you can see a little bit more of what I'm like behind the mic. And I'll see you guys next month.